Whoa. I just put up with some G's. He got a pack, we gon' get him. I had a bomb in a denim. They gon' play you if you let him. Go get the money, that's bottom line. Ran over the pack about a hundred times. I'ma pull out that rate for the summertime. Niggas driving dimes like number nine. Remember that night when we starving? My niggas ducking them charges. Step back, James Harden. Get the money, we working the hard. Hey yo man, what's going on? Still got range back with the back with you feel me, man. I'm back with the whoop whoop, you feel me? Still got range, range gang, 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 cock too. We here, we're back in action. I got a video for y'all today. This is a crazy outstanding video because a lot of y'all gonna be I think a lot of y'all are gonna be uh, inspired, influenced by it, cause um especially the people who are below the age of ten. I think y'all should do this. So I'm gonna tell y'all this story. I got my first tattoo at 10, right? I know that shit sound illegal, but it's like it is all right. Let me get to let me get to the story because it's gonna be whole confusing. But I need to explain it to you guys so you guys get the memo and get what's going on. I got my first tattoo at 10. I'm gonna tell y'all what my tattoo was. I don't know why. Do not blame me. Do not judge me, my man. Do not judge me, my nigga. Do not judge me, my nigga. I got me a tattoo of some demon type. Like all right. Tell me why I was 10 years old and I was into that gothic ass demon type shit. You feel me, right? I was into some little Uzi Vert fucking XXX Tentacion fucking whatever they think, whatever the things they wear on their neck, them little chains. They, I was into that type of shit, man. The one, with the chains with the spikes and shit. You feel me? I was into that type of gothic emo rave type shit. You feel me? When I was 10 years old, my nigga, 10 years old. What grade was that when I was in, when I was 10 years old? That was like fourth grade, my nigga. That was like fourth grade, my nigga. So look, um. I got myself a tattoo. I'm finna put up the tattoo right now. That's how the tattoo look. That's how it looks right now on the back of my leg. In, in my nigga, it, it was on the back of my leg. And remi remind you, I still got chicken legs right now. You feel me? I don't do that gym shit. I don't do that gym shit. You feel me? I ain't do that gym shit when I was 10 years old. I still had chicken legs when I got that tattoo. So mind you, that tattoo was way smaller than you guys may seem it is, but my legs just got naturally bigger by, you know, feel me, naturally growing. I don't do that. I still got chicken legs, my nigga. I'm not afraid to put that out there. So, look, I don't know why I was 10 years old getting this tattoo, but we're going to explain why. So look, it was a day where in the summer, my mother, she, uh, she ain't care too much about me. I'm gonna be honest. She ain't care too much about me, and um, I kind of regret that. I wish she did a little bit more, but me and my mama cool now. We dap it up. We cool. Um, she didn't care too much about me, so she would just let me go out. You know, she would just let me drive the car sometimes, and, uh, look, I'm sorry for putting your information out there, mama, but yeah, we did some illegal we, we, you, me, you, you let me illegally drive your car at age 10. I ain't even take no driving class yet. I ain't take no driving class yet until like how many years later? Six? About, no, five years later, my nigga. I ain't take a drive. No. Ooh, what am I saying? Five, yeah, five years later. Look, you let me drive and you, you, you let me drive to the wrong place. I got this tattoo at the wrong place, wrong time, wrong age, everything. And I know this shit sound illegal for me to get in the tattoo at age 10, but I'm gonna tell y'all why. My mama let me drive. It was a day, it was a day in summer, right? She let me drive to uh, anywhere she was. Uh, she let me to. She was a very generous mother. She was caring for me. Uh, like I said, she ain't care too much to know that I'm 10. I shouldn't be driving, but she cared. She was, you know, caring like you need to learn how to drive at an early age. And I'm like, all right, straight up, I'm cool with that. You know, let me let me grow up. Let me mature a little bit more faster than a lot of these niggas, because a lot of these niggas ain't driving until they fucking 15, taking the driver's ed class in uh, school and whatnot. I'm doing this shit at 10. I'm over here ahead of the game, and niggas out here probably jealous. They see a 10-year-old in the driver's seat, they be like, hey, that, that nigga look young. Who the hell old is, how old is he? Girls be like, how old that nigga is? He look young. He, he look like he about 9 years old. My, my lady, I'm 10. I'm 10 years old, you feel me? So that's what it was all about, man. She was just letting me drive anywhere. But the, ca the catch is, man, I drove myself to some 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 trap house, you feel me? I drove myself to a trap house, and this was about the time when I was living in Chicago. When I was 10 years old, I was living in Chicago. So you know me. I live in the suburb of Chicago right now, you know? I'm like, you feel me? I live in the suburb of Chicago, but this is when we back, we was back when in Chicago, you feel me? Like, we was back down deep in Chicago, west side Chicago, you feel me? So I drove myself to a trap house, right? I knew a couple of these niggas from school, but half of the other niggas I ain't know. 
they nigga was doing free tattoos, right? He was doing free tattoos. Like, I don't trust that stuff at no trap house, you feel me? I don't trust anybody. I don't trust no tattoo artist at a trap house at all or any type of house whatsoever. Because I don't know what they put in that ink. I don't know what they do to that needle. That needle could be, you know, infected with some AIDS, HIV, herpes type shit. I don't trust that stuff. But I'm like, you know what? You only live once, my nigga. You only live once. So I'm like, all right, my ne- I'm, I'm next. You feel me? Like, no, I had that ten year old. What, 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 ten year old? Ten year old was like, I don't know what grade it was, but it definitely was before when I got my D. Was so like, I'm ready. I'm ready to get this tag. You feel me? I was on that type shit. So I'm like, I'm ready to get this tag too. And um, look, like I said, I was into that rave emo gothic uh fucking scene type shit. You know, scene kit raw XD type shit. I was like. Let me get a let me get a demon hand on my leg, and this nigga was like, "You sure? You look a little young." You know, he he stated to me, "You look a little young." How old are you? I'm like, I'm 14, my nigga. So I'm guessing whatever they say, whatever they hear at the trap house, they do not give a damn. So I'm like, "Hey, I'm I'm 14. Do this shit for me, my nigga. Do this shit for me. Give me a demon hand on the back of my leg." So he's all straight with it. That shit hurt. No 10 year old could tolerate pain like that, my nigga. No 10 year old could tolerate pain like that. And I, I, I hated it. I hate myself for it right now. This shit is permanent on the back of my leg. I hate it. But no 10 year old could tolerate pain like that. That nigga did something to that needle. He put more pressure onto my leg with that needle. He was trying to kill me, nigga. I almost damn near passed out. That, that damn tattoo took about three hours. It ain't that good, I'm gonna be honest. It ain't that good. I mean, it got the shadows and, like, a little drop effect to it and all that. It got the shadows and whatnot, the dark and, the dark and tone to it. It took about three hours, my nigga. He rushed that shit. It, it don't look that good to me no more. I don't know if it's just how it looked to me right now or how cool I thought that shit was back then when I was 10 years old. That shit hurt like a bit. You feel me, man? I don't like that tattoo no more. So, I don't know if I'm going to do a cover-up, my nigga. I don't know if you guys think I should do a cover-up on this tattoo. Definitely let me know down in the comment section below. And even drop a like so I know that you want me to do this cover-up shit. Because I, I might even do a video of the cover-up. You feel me? I'm going to just go ahead and do it live and do the cover-up. But yeah, that I don't like this tattoo, man. Because this nigga... I don't think I should have did that shit at 10 years old. But I guess I'm the youngest nigga out here to do it. You know, get a tattoo, so... I guess I'm on my own wave, man. I'm, I'm really rocking with that, I suppose. So make sure you guys go ahead and comment down below how you feel about this story time. If I should get a cover up on this tattoo, because my nigga, I hate it. I don't know what I was, was going through my mind when I was fucking 10 years old. You feel me? I was on some demon, demonic type shit. I don't, I don't know why I got a demon hand on my leg, my nigga. And I got chicken legs. That shit embarrassing. So let me know down in the comment section below if I should get a cover up or anything you got to say about the story time. Was it funny? Was it cool? What not? How y'all feel about it, man? And uh, make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video so I know that you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Press that bell so you get notifications when I upload. You can become post notification gang. Woo woo. And uh, Stagger Range, Range Gang Gang Gang, Cockatoo, it's your nigga, man, and I'm out of here.